understand the different IPU you or the governor reached out to our interests in Japan to uh, offer help or find out the status there also. Uh, do you think this quake will affect your job? Uh, the, the trade mission that we have scheduled for September is uh, we, we have not canceled that at this point. We will continue to monitor the results, uh, to monitor the situation. Um, we have reached out and we will continue to reach out to um, our friends and allies in Japan in addition to encouraging people throughout the state to help by donating to the Red Cross to help. When you say you have reached out, who have you contacted specifically for organizations or groups? Through the State Department, the, the Department of Economic Development is making the contact. We are also here. Specifically to reach out to our sister state. Well, I can, if, if that would be done, okay. But Department of Economic and specifically, we've reached out through our sister state of Japan. Any, any replies back? Not that I am aware of. I'm not. What's the status of the Iowa office over there? Is it still functioning? And your, your trade office? As, as, as far as we know, One of the speakers for this summit is to come to talk about why the world's high-performing school systems are successful. Is this sort of a swallowing our pride summit in the sense that Iowa used to go around telling other people that. Now all of a sudden we've got to have people come here and tell us how to run a successful education system. Well, though, I, we, we want to restore our leadership position in education. We want to, again, the first in the nation in leading reform. And I think not only Iowa, Iowa educators, uh, but families, but they're, they're paying attention to the education system and, and the fact that Iowa has fallen from the old path, in addition to the nation. So anytime that you want to excel and make yourself better, the best thing to do is surround, surround yourself with uh, various options and alternatives and different ways that you can uh, recreate the system to make, to make us more competitive and to make us to make our students uh, eligible to compete globally uh, in, the, in the workforce they make. A couple of weeks ago, um, you and the governor talked about a letter that went out um, through your office kind of in late January, I guess, to other companies in other states, specifically Illinois. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a month and a half or whatever that's been. Is there any progress there? Have you heard of any good news coming yet? Well, we, we continue to get positive reports from opportunities uh, to bring business into the state of Iowa. We sent out, the governor sent out 700 letters. Uh, we are going through those, making follow-up calls with uh, Director Durham. And then all three of us will continue to follow up to encourage uh, those businesses to relocate in Iowa. But it continues to be a process. We continue to work on it, and we will continue uh, those efforts to bring business to Iowa. So we haven't sw swooped in on anybody's business and convinced them to come here yet? We've had great opportunities at each, at each different, you know, as we've done the jobs tour across the state, I've been impressed with the governor makes calls as we're traveling to various businesses, encouraging them. They located the business in <coughs> We have other opportunities that we're looking at in Davenport, so we continue to make the calls, we continue to reach out, we continue to market the state, and we can continue to drive our legislative process that we believe will create the environment that we need to bring those jobs and to locate those businesses in Iowa. For Iowa to be competitive, we need to do exactly what we're talking about, that's reduce the commercial property tax, to reduce the corporate tax rate, and to uh, be more competitive to drive those businesses to Iowa, and that's what we intend to do. What's the status of the effort to get the nonprofit part of the uh, Economic Development Partnership organized? Does, does that all have to wait for the legislation to pass, or other things that well, I think, you know, Director Durham is working on that now, putting things in place. She's continues to review uh, all of the different studies and programs are in place, doing cost benefit analysis on those. That's something that can continue to get place in addition to laying the groundwork to move to the new uh, Iowa Public Partnership, the private and non and, and, and corporate or uh, authority that will be in place. So she can continue to lay the framework for that, and then we'll continue to work with legislators to address any concerns that they may have in order to move I think that we need to continue to look at all forms of renewable energy. Uh, all of them have various forms of um, concerns.
concerns with them. It doesn't, those, they don't happen overnight. It's a 78-year process in order to move uh, towards nuclear production, but I think we, can, we need to continue to look at all um, alternative fuels, and that's one of them, and, and we're doing it in a thoughtful and uh, sustainable manner, manner as we move forward with uh, looking at opportunities to provide I think the governor's been fairly clear on that, that if the bill does come 